Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is T to the S to the O to the A to the N to the E to the L to the O. <laughs> my name is Twanela, Twanela She, but I also go by Umama Wegenge. And this is Dare to be Different. Today, guys, we're in high spirits. I'm sure you can tell by the way we are starting off this video. We are generally happy couple. But we tend to look serious a lot of times. So we just wanted to give you a glimpse of how we can get we can get playful. But it's all good. Now if it's your first time seeing my face or coming across my channel, welcome. <laughs> about how prayer and manifestations change our lives personally and how it can change yours as well you know we believe we highly 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 believe in prayer in our house we pray every day and we manifest a lot um, before I met my husband I didn't really believe in manifestations I didn't even know what it was to be honest I only prayed <laughs> I was only exposed to prayer growing up all my life and then when I met my husband, he kind of taught me about manifestations, what it meant to manifest, what it does, and what are the advantages of doing so. And then I started manifesting. And at this point, I'm the one that now tells people to manifest and pray. Make no mistake, manifestations and prayer go together. You can't manifest and not pray. And you can pray and not manifest though. Mm. Right? But yeah, you must never make the mistake of thinking manifestations are prayer. They're not. So you must do both. Yeah. So would you like to lead us on this one? <laughs> Since you are the one who taught me about manifestations, don't you think it's only fair? No, I think um, just to break it down, you know, it's it's simple theories, not theories. What do they call it? Is it analogies or theories? Yeah, let's let's yeah, let's theories and or analogies, yeah. one of the two. But anyway, um, it's just about having deep, deep faith in mm -hmm. something that you really, really want to achieve or something that you yes. really want to get like for instance um, I've always wanted a, a family a big family I've wanted five kids um, so yeah we, we are on a third one so yeah it's, it's coming together it's coming together <laughs> yeah no but I think the basic principle is to have faith in something that you haven't got yet and but that is not really physical not. but it's attainable you know mm. uh, as long as you you it's like the saying that ask and you shall receive. Mm. So if you ask it, you're putting it out into the world and the world will receive it. And at some point you will get it. But that goes along with if you are consistent with, you know, with your daily goals, daily mm. plans mm. to get there and your discipline and how disciplined you are to get to that, that, that goal or whatever it is that you want. Mm. I, love, I love how you put it. I love how you put it. Because now, after you hear that, how can you not believe in manifesting? <laughs> you know? Yeah. So, um, my husband touched on discipline. He always speaks about discipline. He believes in discipline a lot. And mind you, discipline goes with both prayer and manifestations. If you pray for something, if you pray for, let's say, to pass an exam, pray for it, but what do you do after that? You discipline yourself enough to study for the exam. Mm -hmm. Because God can't remind you something that you don't know. Yeah, yeah. You know, so it requires discipline. So, same as uh, manifestations, when you manifest that in five years' time, I'm going to be a millionaire. Mm -hmm. You can't now sit and not save up, not work, and not take the necessary precautions to make sure that you reach that goal. Yeah. So discipline goes in both prayer and manifestations. It's important to discipline yourself. Whether you want, in whatever career sphere you want to go for, mm -hmm. you need to be disciplined. Whether it's in relationships, you need to be very disciplined. Also, as a parent, you need to be disciplined. As a friend, you need to be disciplined. Because in some instances, we feel like discipline is overrated. Mm -hmm. But it's not. If you're going to say that, God, I'm praying that in 10 years' time, I want my husband and I to maybe have five kids. Mm -hmm. By the time we, we reach 10 years in marriage. You need to then discipline yourself in, in, in a manner that you can't just have... Imagine in 10 years from now, we've only been married two years and a half. Yeah. Imagine if we start having kids now. <laughs> By 10 years time, how many kids are we going to have? More than five. Yeah. 
Yeah. But if we discipline ourselves and tell ourselves that in the next five years or ten years we'll have two more, yeah. we'll do that. You know, even in friendships, when a friend tells you, I don't like this, that, and the other that you say about me or how you treat me, if you discipline yourself enough to say, okay, fine, if you don't like it, I'm not going to do it, mm -hmm. chances are the friendship will last. Yeah. You know, so, yeah, I just wanted to touch a bit on discipline. Yeah. And, yeah. And then when it comes to praying, I think it's important for every individual to pray, whether you believe in, you know, Allah, or you believe in Jesus, you mm -hmm. believe in God, you know, whatever it is that you believe in, I'm sure that you believe that there's a higher source, you know, and everything is energy. So mm -hmm. if we're always positive about something, or if we're always thinking positive thoughts, you know, chances are we'll get positive things happening mm -hmm. to us. But if you're always negative, and you're always depressed, and you're always you know, thinking the negative and worrying about this and that and that. Mm -hmm. Not that I'm saying you don't worry. I'm just saying rather let your positivity outweigh your, your negativity. True. So that, you know, it's it's like the saying, uh, I think it was Will Smith, but he got it from some other Chinese guy. But anyway, mm -hmm. he says that he who says he can and he who says he can't are both usually right. Mm -hmm. Meaning that if you believe that you will and you can, you will be able to obtain it. But if you believe that you won't, chances are you won't. Go and do what you, needs you to get there. You yeah, know? yeah. Um, and yeah, the books, books like your The Secret and Think and Grow Rich. You know, it all touches on these principles. We mm -hmm. all know that, you know, if you gym every day consistently for twenty minutes, you know, you're going to be looking good. Yeah. You know. Okay. Whereas if you're thinking that you're going to be gymming for five hours or three hours today, you're not going to have a six pack tomorrow. You know, it's not a it's not an overnight success yes. thing. You, you got to take it's a, process. it's a process. You know, there's yeah. there's hardships to get to where you want. Mm -hmm. You know, nothing. Um, there's a saying, nothing. Yes, yeah, yes, yes. I know you love that saying. <laughs> know. Yeah, you know, I think it's Steve Harvey who says yeah. it. You know, that's that things, that, uh, like really, that you feel like a, a, is, is, is worth it. You know, it's gonna take time. It's gonna take a lot of falls and mm -hmm. you know all these. What you call mountains that you yeah. have to climb over for you to, to, get, to there. get there. Yeah, that's true. That's true. You know something else that we have um, witnessed in our in our marriage with my husband is that when you pray, it doesn't necessarily mean that things will happen at the time in which you want them to happen. Mm. You know, so you need to be patient in your prayer and manifestation because you might be praying for a car next year, mm. asking God, God. By the end of 2023, can I please have a car? And mm. God doesn't think that's a good idea. Mm. Then you're not going to have the car. But that does not necessarily mean that you need to stop believing in God or stop believing in prayer. Mm. It just means that it's not yet time. Yeah. You know, God's timing is much better than our timing. God's plans are much better than our plans. Mm. You know, it just means that you wait your turn. So prayer and manifestations have a lot to do with patience and understanding that God's not now. It's not God's no. Yeah, yeah. I think I think there was another guy. I think it's Kirk Franklin when he was achieving one of these awards that he got. He was saying that you know some people you might see that they are successful yeah. and that they won the lotto or whatever it is. They're getting everything that they've ever wanted, you know. But yourself, you know, why is it that you are taking time? It's mm. because God is not making you a microwave product. Yes. You're not a microwavable product. Yes. You're a over you you you're a process, you know, mm. you you are you are it's what you call marinating into whatever mm. it is that God mm. wants you to Oven do. product. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it takes time, you know, it takes yeah. preparation, it takes all the ingredients for you to actually be a source of what God wants you to be. So mm. believing that that is what God wants you to believe uh, be and at the same time working towards that. Because yeah. you alone won't get there on your own. Mm -hmm. You know, believing that it is achievable because God is on your side. And if God is on your side, who can, who can be against, against your side? You. Yeah. yeah, something else that you always say in my life is that nothing will happen, whether you pray or manifest, unless you have faith. Mm -hmm. Nothing will happen. You know, and um, the reason why we pray and when we see things not happening in our own time, we feel like, ah, this is not working. It's because we do not have faith. Yeah. You know, so if you are faithful, you know that God is who he says he is. Mm -hmm. I mean, why would you feel like it's not going to happen? Yeah. You know, you need to also understand that when you pray for things, when you manifest things, it doesn't mean that they will all happen. Mm -hmm. Some of them won't. You know, and it doesn't mean that you should be like, no, it means God doesn't love me. Sometimes God loves you enough to not give you those things. Yeah. 
you know. Yeah. So you need to, to, to be aware of that. Because then, for instance, you'd find that Javi and I, we always like making the example of the kids. <laughs> but we, we, we always want to have five, mm -hmm. right? And if it doesn't happen... Baby. You want it? <laughs> No, that's what I wanted. Not now. Now we're okay. Now is it? We're all right. Is that so? Yeah, we're all right. Yeah, so we've always <laughs> wanted to have five kids. And um, if at this point, God says, this third child that you guys have is the last child I'm giving you guys. And then we keep trying and we can't have more. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean that there's something wrong with God. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean that there's something wrong with our plans. It just means that God says the three that you have is enough. That's all you can handle. Yeah. If you have faith, you will know that. You will understand it. You will get the signs that God sends you that, no, I don't think you can handle another one. Yeah. But if God is saying, wait, of course, maybe in the next two years, three years, we'll have another one. Who knows? Yeah. You know. So my thing is, don't expect everything that you pray for to happen. Understand that God can prohibit you from getting to certain things or to certain things in life just because he doesn't think you, you are... You should be getting those things. He, he thinks you deserve better. You, you deserve more. You might be crying today that you're not getting a promotion at your job. But you have no idea that God is actually preparing a company for you. Your own business. You're crying today that I don't have enough money for taxi fare. You don't understand that God is actually preparing you to buy your own car. Mm -hmm. You know, so you just need to understand that not everything we pray for happens mm -hmm. or at the time in which we want it to happen. True. True. Hmm. It's also like... Um this thing of allowing your test to become your testimony yeah you know, how does that work it's like god wants to see how strong your faith is mm. you know you can say that i believe that it's going to happen and i'm going to work towards it but you know when things hit the fan then you either stop or you know you stop believing in this thing and that's also i think a, a test from god mm. to see whether or not you actually really really believe in this thing because if you do no matter what happens no matter who says what no matter if you fail a hundred times you know you are going to be persistent to mm. get to where you want. Mm. You know, that's, that's the, what God, I think, I feel like, wants to yeah. see. How yeah. strong is your faith mm. um, in, in everything that you're trying to manifest, in everything that you're doing. And my last point is, um, well, it links to a vision board, basically. Mm. You know, write the vision down, you know, so that one day you'll be able to see this thing coming to fruition. Because saying it and writing it is two different things, you know. Mm. Saying it, I mean, writing it, it's sort of like, it's like a memory. I mean, it's embarked onto your memory. Mm. You know, you're, you're more likely to remember it, if you and, you're, it. and you'll see it every day. You know, mm. um, I feel. I, I think a lot of people like there was this other guy, Jim Carrey, on um, Oprah, mm. where he wrote himself a check for five million dollars, and every day he looked at it, and eventually, you know, he got his five million dollars mm. from you know looking at it every day, but also working, working towards, towards it, it yeah. you know, and believing that oh, I'm going to get this check one day, mm. and just having that feeling. You know, that's manifesting, just mm -hmm. feeling how it would feel like and what you would do with it. it. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yes, I remember now that you mentioned that, love that. I also did not really have, uh, I wasn't big into writing things down, but you taught me that. Because I also remember that my husband would refer to the days when we were students that, how did you study? Mm -hmm. And I told him that I used to write things down and then study from my own notes. Then he said, that's exactly how you live your life then. You need to write everything down that you want. Did you not remember everything in the exam that you wrote down? I said, I did. Then he's like, so how are you not going to remember how you're planning to have the rest of your life if you don't write it down? So from there on, I started writing it down. Um, I remember we spoke about it like two months and I didn't really pay any attention to it. And then after the two months, I came home and I was like, babe, if you go out today, please buy me a journal and a diary. And he was surprised, but I think he was happy to see that. I actually do listen and how did it feel, love? Mm, it's good. That's good. So yeah, I'm also, I'm, I'm writing things down. <laughs> I'm writing things down a lot. And I've seen that I've, most of the things that I write down, they do happen. Yeah, yeah. Something else that I wanted to touch on is that with, with manifestations, is that sometimes we are not aware. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you might manifest and hope for something silently in your heart. Uh, uh, let's say maybe in 2015, and then it happens in 2025. Yeah. You know, things like that happen. For instance, with me, remember, growing up, I never wanted to get married. Mm. But silently, in my heart, deep, 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 mm -hmm. down there, I'd be like, but God, if it ever happened that I got married, this is the kind of husband I want. But out loud, I'd say, I don't want to get married because of this, that, and the other. I even told my husband when we first met that I didn't want to get married for these reasons. 
but because I always wanted this type of husband. Mm. And God listens. The other things that we don't realize is that God and the universe are always listening to what we want, to our wishes. And my husband came along. And he was exactly what I wanted. Just not in the race that I expected, mm. you know. So it's, it's one of those things that show you that God listens. No matter how you think it's impossible, this thing that I'm hoping for, it won't happen. Because I always felt like, I won't get a husband like this, man. They, these type of men don't exist. So I don't want to get married because of that. But I knew that secretly I was wishing to have a husband like you. Mm. You know, and such things, when such things happen, they make you, they make your faith more enhanced because you start believing that, hey, God really does listen, eh? I remember when I was 15, I wanted this, that, and the other, and right now I have it. Mm. You know, so yeah, just always also be on the lookout to see that whatever I'm praying for isn't really happening. Yeah, because I, I, I think I mentioned it on my previous mm. video that I prayed about, you know, having a wife like you and um, having a family, mm. a big family and all of that. But my thing is also just praying about it, you know, you might be like in a relationship perspective you might be heartbroken you might not believe in love again yeah. you know it's like my wife saying that have faith that you know you will find the right person but with that check yourself also because the signs might be there to say hey yo you are the problem because yes. it takes two to tangle yes. you know you might be praying for a better person but are you really person. at that level also for that person to meet you because if this person is improving himself on a daily basis it's like a path mm. you know it's a two lane if you are improving, I'm also improving. But if you are improving and I'm here and I meet you, we still have a gap that I need to fill. Yes. So rather we both improve ourselves and check ourselves so that one day when we actually meet, you know, after we prayed about it, after we walk towards that, that level that you are at, then we'll more likely be successful as a couple. Yeah, yeah. I think, yeah, we've said all we needed to say today. You said all we needed to say. Thank you so much, guys, for tuning in once again. Please do not forget to subscribe, comment, and share, and like this video. Please do like the video. We thank you guys so much for the support that you've been showing us on our channel. We love you. We'll see you guys on the next one.